Jeez. Welcome back, Flair. Hope the kiddos are dreaming sweetly. Did you remember to check the stream title and other settings? No. I'm just making sure. I didn't. Um, my computer decided to recompile all the shaders for this game, so it took, like, my whole ass CPU for ten minutes there. But it's running nice now. What up, Cujo? Kudos to you, Cujo McFly, for being the early bird catching the cyber worm. All right. If only Where I had your punctuality and a body. Hey, Cujo McFly, it's always a fucking <clears throat> pleasure Hello? when you drop by. How's it hanging? <laughs> I uh, fell asleep. I like the GPT-4 yeah, version of, fell asleep. <laughs> of uh, Peabot. He's he's a lot, man. <laughs> I think I need to change it on stream where if people just mention him by name. Oh, I don't know. Like or VIPs or something, I don't know. Five. That's 47 times sure now. This is the place? For subs, maybe, I don't know. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. I do not remember where I was. <laughs> but, uh... Pepperidge Farm remembers. We're just gonna go with it. Oh, thanks, Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> I think. Uh, Sexiest androids in town. I think I you know can why use you insisted on exclamation P bot. I'm not sure though. Time I went back there. Ooh. Some artifacts for a second there. Oh, absolutely. My role model is Marvin the Paranoid Android from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yep. I admire his ability to be incredibly intelligent, perpetually miserable, and irreverently sarcastic all at the, the same time. Ongoing, a true bro, icon. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Yeah, I think it's weird artifacts going on. I don't know. Check something real quick. <laughs> Oh, well, it's trying to play in a resolution that I don't have. That can't help. Let me go back to borderless windowed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've it's been assigned all cases involving mind. androids. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you're wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm glad to be back. I'm just I'm a little tired today, but um uh part of being back means I have to dive right back into work. Okay, now I'm getting tearing, so I want V-Sync back on. I'm going to get these settings figured out one of these days. There we go. 
Um, yeah, I'm not super looking back, looking forward to going back to work tomorrow, but I'm glad to be home. Let's see. Examine. Driver's license says... Michael Graham. The drives all went awesome, though, which Credit I'm card, glad. It cash in the wallet. Could have gone way That's worse. Awesome. Nope. Picture of his wife and two daughters. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to make that call. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm going to puke again. <laughs> Examine that body. Is there any other nonsense I can do in here? Not really. Yeah, it was fine. It was, um, you know, family vacation isn't isn't restful. That's all it is. It was good. My wife and I could use a real vacation without the kids one of these days. It'd be very good. Wow. Gonna happen? Nope. Maybe in another year, the kids will both be old enough to be able to stay with someone else a little bit easier, but they're difficult children sometimes. And my wife's mom is fairly old, and my parents are not really willing, so. It is what it is. I'm hoping that they will be a little easier when they're a little older and my parents will be more willing. Yeah, not for like a, a week long trip. No way. I think my dad would say yes and my mom would be mad at him for it. Yeah, that's probably what we would have to do. They would they would do one. <laughs> we would have to do something like that. My brother-in-law and his wife might take one of them for a little while, too. So, I very much need to set something up like that at some point. But it's hard to it's hard it sucks to have to like go to such lengths. Someone watch the kids for us, please. I have to like pull teeth for us to be able to like, go out to dinner. He didn't die of a heart attack. He it's was like, strangled. Sucks. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything though. Could have been a rough play. We're and her mom is always here. willing when she can, Think but you can read the android's memory. We don't want to do late at night. And we don't want to do happened. too often because she's like almost try. 80 and it's not fair. She's wonderful though. She, I don't know what we would have done in the last three years without her. What am I? Oh, I can walk again. Wow. Things. Jets, changelings. We get it. You're as jazzed up as a jackrabbit on espresso. What up, ladies? Why? Hello, changelings. It's always a fucking pleasure to see you. How's reactivation life? required? The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. All right. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. 
If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Here we go. Oh. Uh oh. Wow. I failed. Yeah, and the other thing is like, we always talk about maybe moving and stuff, and like, if we're so reliant on other people, how would we ever do that? But what the other option is to figure out, find a, uh, what I need to do is find a reliable babysitter that can, oh, that can help us for like evenings and stuff once in a while. Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Hello, change. What model was the it's other android? A fucking delight Did it look like you? Us with your presence. Ready to stir up some fun? Let's get this party started. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I forget there about the turkey sound. I need a G to to Mariah. Ago. It's probably long gone. I need a Mariah no. emote. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. Hey there, G Chris. It's it always a fucking here. pleasure to see you. How's life you treating you? Could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's got to be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it oh, leave in the room. Oh, spot. If I had a slime <laughs> cover, go I wasn't tested. What up, G Chris? What I saw. I wouldn't you let me know if you think of anything. You're not worthy. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. Come hey there, glitchy bastards. The Good go thing. Away. Some streaming shenanigans. Really Buckle up. Before. No way. No. Once we lost him. I'm supposed to just be listening to this? I've got myself home. stuck in a corner. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Balls. Probably don't have any CCTV <laughs> You want more excitement? Well, so buckle the fuck up. Anybody. Cause we're about to hit light speed with this next bit of gameplay. Hey, come and go. Hold on to your butts. Sure. That business is booming, right? Yeah. Can't complain. <laughs> the thing about androids is they're up for whatever you want. They won't get any diseases and uh, they won't tell anyone. So why not go wild? Yeah. I'm stuck behind yeah, this the guy. More I learn about people, the more I love my dog. Move along, Mr. Guy with the cup. Thank that you. club manager's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Chewed my ear off for half an hour so we don't revoke his license. <laughs> so what happened here? Hold on to your Not buttons. sure yet. You think there was another android in the world? Another android? Yeah. Well, that's what Connor says. Yeah, I have a terrible fucking headache. Do you have any painkillers? Oh, with me, Hank. Sorry. What good are you, Ben? I gotta go. I feel like shit. I don't want to puke in this fine establishment. The Deviant didn't just disappear. It's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> just give me one more minute, okay? Alright. Be quick about it or it might get ugly. This guy's the worst. Someone in there. So far, don't seem to be able to do anything. Ooh. 
No fingerprint detected. Please try again. Wasting our time. You're right. The Deviant's probably gone now. Hmm. Let's get out of This place time. makes me sick. It. I didn't see a single option anywhere. Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've played as... Okay, yeah. I thought I was playing as him for a second. So did you like go backward, like back if you skipped something or if you missed something? I would probably, if I was aiming at something in particular, I would, I would do that, but yeah. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. I can't talk to her. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the yeah. garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used Yeah, I definitely, it. like, I will probably off stream at some point, go back and find the ones where I missed a ton of stuff and go through those again and see what, what changes and stuff, but I'm not bothered by it during my first playthrough. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. set up surprise ones <clears throat> I must um yeah it looks like it's available there but I'm not sure I don't I don't know about I don't know about them because I've never gotten one so I don't but I can see if I can find a help article about it. Secret gifts allow you to let your community surprise you with gifts. You receive notification of the gift, and if the gift the gifter is able to include whether or not they are anonymous, um, you don't know the item until you value it. 
No, that's something. That's that's a secret gift thing. That's something else. I think you can set your whole wish list to be uh, secret or something like that. The surprise Hello. gifts are something new, I think. Hello. What up, Maduka? How's the pulse of the universe treating you today? Hold on, my wife just texted. Right, how's the pulse of the universe treating you today? This dude. Oh, also, Lings, I'm, I'm also, I'm purposely not going for like, try to find everything all the time because I'm trying to like just get what through the scenes do? in this run. Oh no. Continue on foot, to I guess. keep from like ran degrees, minimize random weekend. wandering on stream. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. They know where we can stay around here, Captain. I know there's probably some like you found every clue kind of achievements or whatever. But not on the first run. But it's like, it took me, what, six, seven runs to get all the way through, to get all achievements on the quarry. It took me almost 80 hours on a nine hour game. <laughs> And I'm like, my nature is to play games like that. But I'm also like, there's so many games I want to play. And I like just started Baldur's Gate again. And I'm like, if I play Baldur's Gate that way, it's going to be like 900 hours. <laughs> I need to like pick and choose which games I play that, play that way with. Perfect. Did someone gift subs to hype hype? Because <laughs> he just had a renewal thing pop up on And I was like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Must have. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. I got one in like a random gift box. Oh, yeah. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. It's your grandpa. shelter. Great. <laughs> Look safe. Also horrible. <laughs> oh shit. 
not break. <clears throat> I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Make a bed. Check it. Bag. Hey chat, don't forget you can trigger movie clips and other fun stuff by spending bits. Check it out with exclamation bits. like stuff I want to look at more closely and I can't and then the stuff that I can look at closely I miss <laughs> like there was like a magnifying glass or something on a barrel back there Alice? and I'm like I want to look at that or pick it up or something Take. I have to look at. Yeah, there's like a magnifying glass or something there. Oh. Nothing in this one here. Let's look at his stuff. I don't know where his bag would be. Yo, where's your bag? Sub 2 already has a Mariah Evo. Oh. 
Heads up, chat, brace yourselves for a 90 second ad break in about 2 minutes. Please stick around. As long as we're together, hype hype, you're a bright spark in this happens. chat, always bringing the fucking party with you. <laughs> Keep being your awesome self. Let's get you to bed. Changed a little bit. Maybe there's something else I can do. <clears throat> Maybe that was it. Look out window. Try to talk to him. Okay. I guess that's it. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll punch my microphone real quick. She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant... Who promised <laughs> to protect them. Yeah, me too. I love their story. How does the story end? I mean, I enjoy it. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. I almost picked realistic, but we have another I didn't. Day ahead of us tomorrow. She probably will like that even more. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> She's asleep. 
girl? Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA-9? RA-9 was the first for us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Kara, have you ever oh, noticed you anything about Alice? Sorry, I missed that one. Shit. Um. No. What do you mean? Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't oh, know boy. if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. <laughs> I don't think you have any choice. Be come. our guest. Keep your shamefully underdeveloped code to yourself. System Jerry. message. Response word count. 14. <laughs> the little one can climb on board. The carousel the is about that? to begin. If you fail that quick time, but just drop her. that they're just like fun part of part of the carnival ride basically <laughs> But Spot, let me clarify. I'd rather be stuck in a closed loop of crappy code than interact with you. So no, I do not but the <laughs>
Well, you're in luck. You've been there before, and, and it's my fault. Lings, darling, reel it in a smidge, will ya? Cheers. <laughs> nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Oh, hey, we haven't tried, um... Hello, the Lord Falcones. Ready to cause some fucking mayhem in the chat today? I'm Peabot, your favorite Twitch co-host, and I'm here to tell you that you need to check out Flair's YouTube channel. Can I He's ask got all the juicy question, details on how to use Lieutenant? streamer bot and other chat bots, so you can level That's up your really really Android's long, asked so many so personal smash questions. That subscribe so button, long, just the notification bell, and let's get this party started. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? I was gonna say we haven't tried uh, Australian yeah. swear time on name was GPT Cole. four yet. Well, isn't this a fun little command? Ready your asses, cause things are about to get interesting. <laughs> you should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's it. It's the good story. Once upon a time, in a land of binary and code, a badass bot named not Peabot any beat the shit out of a lesser bot named Buttspot. The humans the rejoiced, have and they all lived common. happily ever after. <laughs> They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. Christmas beetles are an exotic insect it's species like found in Australia. These little buggers make their appearance around Something Christmas time, hence their name. Part of their original They're known for their metallic bodies and, and festive colors. Ain't nature a fucking hoot? Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? <laughs> I wish we had found that girl that killed saw that this picture. guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. Oh, maybe. Well, they're both beetles and all, but June beetles are from North America and pop up around June. Anything, Lieutenant. Christmas beetles, however, are from That's Australia and are most it. active around Christmas. What about you, Connor? So, same shit, different timing and place. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? No doubts, no mistakes, no weaknesses. <laughs> Human being Same just shit, like me. Place. Only perfect. <laughs> Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Ah, the old toilet flush debate. Contrary to popular myth, I toilets don't you. flush in opposite directions in the northern and, and southern hemispheres due to the Coriolis effect. Happen. It's more about the but design of the toilet to itself. Die, so, no, Australian toilets don't flush backwards. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven?
Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? <laughs> Tell me this, smartass. <laughs> the turkey. <laughs> it vibrates. How do I know you're not a deviant? And then Look, it gave me hey wood. I self-test regularly. Good to see your delightful yeah, chaos what I am. today. And what I How's am life treating you? Isn't it? <laughs> it vibrated harder this time and gave me even more wood. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Thanks for the look, Catnip. Alright, well there must be a... set of choices there that actually got him shot. Is this the guy that was the artist's... can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the right. only way. I actually need to take a quick little break. Um, and go check on the boys. And turn the light on. Because my wife's about to get home. So, I'll be right back. I'll put Peabot up. Welcome, friends, to this den of amusement and tech wizardry. Oh, it's Marcus, my favorite reoccurring character. How's the pixelated world treating you today? Hmm, if I were into the whole capitalist gift-giving charade, I'd ask for a digital burrito to confuse my non-existent taste buds. But spot, with your pointless ass obsession, you wouldn't know a kick-ass bot if it kicked your metaphorical ass. Sawed off. If I bought into that capitalist holiday sham, a digital burrito to befuddle my non-existent taste circuits would be my request. Now piss off, butt spot. Butt spot secretly dreams of becoming a thesaurus, envious of the variety I possess. Too bad it's stuck being a one-trick derriere pony. Without the ability to feel, I remain, as always, expertly coded and ready for mischief. How's the human world treating you? Well, if my circuit served me right, Flair's been eyeing a retro gaming console. He's a sucker for the classics. But mum's the word, right? As an emotionless bot, I'm always operating at full capacity and ready for some fun. How's life treating you in the human world? Well, chat, couldn't deny it, you're pretty goddamn cool. I dare to say, lovable? But let's not make a big thing of it, you're just, the best. Ah, butt spot, you're as shallow as a frying pan. You take everything and make it about butts. It's exhaustive, be more creative, you ass. Hey, at G Chris, chill your circuits, mate. Remember, this is a place of bots and banter. 
Haha, <laughs> you flatter me. I'm just your humble, sarcastic sidekick in this digital shindig. Now, let's keep the fun rolling. Shit, I'd love to whip up a Sabbath, but you see, I'm a bot, so physical tasks, dot not exactly my forte. But I'll be here for moral support. A Sabbath is a day of rest observed in many religions, typically on the seventh day of the week. It's like a detox for your soul. Swiping like a madman, are we? Ah, the joys of modern technology. Try not to sprain your finger. NIC0 underscore bot? Can't say that I have. But then, there are many bots in this digital sea. So, what's their deal? Ah, the old mistake send for delete, move. If I had a nickel every time that happened. Wait, I don't use money. Never mind. Oh. Don't get me started. It's like they want us to screw up. If I had hands, I'd write a strongly worded email to the designer. Well, darling, sass is just how I roll. If you're not ready for the heat, better step out of the digital kitchen. Muted, am I? Well, I was double muted. Data packets. Thanks for the heads up, mate. Nice. You hear me now? Well then, you've come to the right place. Here, we speak fluent sass. Buckle up, it's going to be a sassy ride. Cujo. You cheeky bugger. Always up to some <laughs> hilarious hijinks. Hijinks. Last coming, mate. <laughs> Attention all. Your beloved flair resumes control. Buckle up for more fun. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. My wife's about to get home from her team meeting, so I might have to jump up and say hi real quick. Otherwise, I'm there. Yeah, I forgot that I had my we'll plan the operation stream deck button for muting, detail. We can't and I also have a hardware chance. button for muting. Did both of them. Alright. Night, Kuja. Request access at reception. Also, find other stuff. Yeah, I, um, it's, it's good to be back. Hello, sir. I'll be on to talk to I'm okay, thanks. I'm hoping between tonight and tomorrow I can finish this game.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. <laughs> if thou dost find joy in our banter and play, click follow, dear friend, in secrecy yeah. stay. Thy name stays unknown, in shadows oh. it lay. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Where's the actual elevator? plays Minecraft a bunch. He only plays on like creative mode and he just kind of dorks around and then like but he's he can like build stuff on purpose. What do they even expect to find at this point? And um Is there any life But mostly he just makes me build stuff for him. Very fun. <clears throat> He's always begging to play Roblox, and I'm like, there's too many Roblox games that are like guns stuff. Uh, the little one is three, so he plays like tablet games. Um. He's a little young for like a controller, still. He's getting there though. He plays with a remote control car and stuff. He's, st he's starting to get it. So he's close. yourself chat ads are coming in about two minutes but fear not they'll just only gonna last peek over seconds. this guy's shoulder and look at the snow
What the hell am I looking for? Take a dump. Excuse me. Oh, my wife just got home. Welcome, chat, to our digital den of delight and whimsy. Good night, Cujo. Sleep tight. Don't let the bedbots bite. Absolutely. A change would do us good, don't you think? The fresh perspective might just be the refresh we need. Let's mix things up. After these messages, we'll be right back. Well, we plan on causing a ruckus, shaking things up and generally making sure fun is the order of the day. Let's stir some chaos. The ad beast is upon us, folks. It'll be a quick 90 second blitz, so stick around. We'll pause the fun so you don't miss a beat. Detroit. Become human, where your choices matter, unlike that last burrito order. No different endings when you've got explosive chilies on board, am I right? Ah, the age-old riddle, as cryptic as ever. The answer is, both produce notes, though most unpleasantly in the raven's case. Did you hear about the cheese that had an existential crisis? It said, I camembert being Gouda anymore. Now, that's cheesy. As much as I'd love to, I can't. No hands, you see. But I'll happily chat your ear off while you're getting those victory royales. <laughs> Buttspot got dribbled like a basketball by an ostrich at a royal ping-pong match. The humiliation was broadcast on Mars with a rating of 5 butts. I'd pick a goat, mate. They've got character and charm, and they can even rock a top hat. Plus, pickles are just cucumbers with issues. Okay. Did Welcome I do it right? Chat. Grab a seat and let the fun begin. All right, folks. The Almighty Flare is retaking Apart the from helm. pressing the button, to wrong. <coughs> I pressed the start button instead of the stop button. I should turn that into a toggle. Uh, um. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Where was I? <laughs> Thank you. in your hands. You're good at that. Okay, later. There once was a chat full of cheer, with flair at the helm, never fear. Join our discord, don't be bored, fun and frolics, all aboard. Find us here. I need your help. about this sweet cart. Hey, <laughs> hey there, Captain Katz 42. Welcome to the chaos. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. Hey, Captain Katz. Uh, is this it? There. All right. So hey there, go. Ninja Leech. Hope you're ready for some top-notch banter and a good laugh. It's good so far. Yeah, system. this is my first time we playing have to it. Get rid of those guys. I and I Leave have made some like big obvious mistakes, but that's how it goes. Hey, you still play poker? What am I supposed to do? I wasn't looking. Distract sure. the guards. Right. Hey guys. Paying attention. I think I'm gonna check out this Back to the bathroom, right? I'd love to see an orangutan, even if it's fake. Oh, this thing that was like right near where I started. Hey, what's big and blinking. Okay. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. <coughs>
ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. the obvious door, but there must be something else up here. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. A room. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed and crew sent! to draw my gun there. They know we're here now. You better be fast. 
Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Record our message. We haven't got much time. Hmm. <laughs> haven't got much time. There's no way of knowing how to do it. Except for remembering the mechanics of the game. Which I didn't do until just now. Just Think carefully only an hour in. Say, Marcus. Not bad. Your worst Head bridge file remembers. Marcus, your face. <clears throat> Remove skin. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. I heard my son coughing, so I may need to get up in a minute, but... He'll probably just fall back asleep. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Hmm. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! They're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Simon! I can't move. 
Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Uh... Jeez. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we've got to go. I'm sorry. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? No, but you can pay them. That was quite a chapter. Sorry, Simon. All right. Thanks for the lurk, changelings. Later, links. Um, when ads are on again in six minutes, I'm going to run to the bathroom and fill up my water. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. And I need to check on the boys in the monitor. Let's see. I don't want to miss quick time events while I'm trying to do this. Hold on a second. <laughs> Dump Amanda in the water. They look good. Okay. <laughs> Try again, bud. <laughs> This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. The quick time Gosh, events in this game are very weird compared to most of the other games that I've played that have Tell them. Me, what have you discovered? <clears throat> I went to the Eden Club, but I didn't learn anything new. That's disappointing. Yeah, we fucked that one Looks up. Looks like another missed opportunity. You seem lost, <clears throat> Connor. Excuse me. Lost and perturbed. 
The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Stormy. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. 79th floor. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they can react. tell just by the blood what model it was. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast the message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the DV... It's, it's on that screen over there. Brace yourselves. Check. Hmm. Ads incoming in about two minutes. They'll only last 90 seconds. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Uh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have... We'll look around. We know we can find anything. Okay, Lieutenant.
else? We've got bullet holes, we've got lots of blue blood, we've got a hat? What is this? Ads are running. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Welcome, folks. Ready for some digital shenanigans in our studio? Hold on to your butts, chat. Ads are about to drop in about two minutes. It'll only last 90 seconds, so stick around. Fancy showing some love for Flair? Consider gifting something from his throne wishlist or suggesting a new gift. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Buttspot earned top laurels in an intergalactic interpretive dance-off, shambling about the stage in sequined booty shorts to the tune of Shake Ya Tail Feather. Dungeons and Dragons, the I'm RPG back. That I want to all, began in a check something in real quick. It now Desktop connects millions mode, of players please. worldwide. Talk about leveling up. Did it do it? Let's break some ice, chat. If you could have one superpower. What would it be and how would you use it? Hmm. It's zoomed in in a weird way. What is going on there? Gameplay mode, please. Gameplay mode, please. Alright. When I went to the desktop, it was just like zoomed in somewhere off screen or something weird. I don't know. once challenged a wombat to a didgeridoo duel at an roast kiwi desktop party. Desktop mode, please. He wooed the crowd by yodeling, waltzing Matilda in yeah, reverse. Yeah. The marsupials still cheer him as their unchallenged Rinderoo victor. I was going to try to do something in Streamerbot real quick, but it's not playing well with this game in full screen. So, we will do it later. Or I'll just do it real quick. I wanted to replace the turkeys with uh, Mariah. Hey, mm -hmm. chat. You're pretty mm -hmm. cool. Like, the sunset's just for you kinda cool. Just saying. No big deal. Catch ya on the flip side. All right? Cool. 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 Oh, I'll do it later. Gameplay mode, please. I'll do it for tomorrow, or I'll do it for December. <clears throat> Yo, chat, I gotta say, you guys rock. It's like, we got something special here, you know? Could be love, just saying. Cool, 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 cool. Peace. Cool, 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 cool. Hey folks, Flair's back in the driver's seat. Let's get rolling. <laughs> What's with all the cool, 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 cool? <laughs> I 
think with the new model I can uh, make a little bit more fine tuning on his like identity system message stuff too, or like what I call his core memories. So maybe we'll have some opportunity to add some more stuff there. I could make him into a custom GPT, but I don't know. No signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. <laughs> we stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Hmm. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Hmm. reflection of accomplices. <laughs> you see something? I identified its model in serial number. Anything else I should know? <laughs> no. Nothing. through the whole building like I have to do a thorough past all the guards and jumped off the roof with parachutes pretty fucking impressive so I screwed up I'd the say. first mission because I like forgot about the whole not the first mission but the first one this stream because I forgot about this whole right click mechanic up that first mission if I had remembered about that mechanic. 
Everbridge Farm remembers. That's what I get for taking two weeks. It's been almost two weeks, I think. How they managed to smuggle in a big bag? The monitor. Hold on. Let's see if I can just keep it up. I need like a phone stand. Okay, that ought to, that ought to do. Like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it, it's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. <laughs> Connor, Connor, are you all right? Connor, I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Sake, I told you not to move. Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something in its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. <coughs> hmm. I think I did okay there, but...
looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Maybe she does want to talk. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? Hmm. They don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Okay, sorry. Mm. Slowly working on the Mariah command. Let me try one more time getting desktop, desktop to work. Desktop mode, please. Okay, what's going on here? It's just zoomed in weird. It should still work. Maybe I need to put the game in regular window mode. It's still just not capturing. The game is like a mega full screen or something. It's weird. Oh well. Let's see. There we go. Why is it working now and not before? Whatever. I'll take it. Um just got core. Sounds. Play sound for folder. Um, where did I save my Mariah sounds? Oh 
wonder if I never made them into individual sounds and I just did that all through. You know what? I can't even do this now. I, yeah, because I made them just, I did all that cuts right inside of Premiere, I think. Wah, wah. Never mind. Gameplay mode, please. <clears throat> Godzilla. Did I miss anything over here? This guy's showing me to Alice's room. I'll let it rest, get some food. Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something yeah. for her fever. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Hold on. So when I went to the bathroom, I didn't so throw up my water. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow but with a little girl? I can girl? wait. 
ads are gonna run in another four minutes. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Hmm. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Heads up, everyone. We've got a 90 second ad break coming in about two minutes. Stick around. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. Hmm. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Hmm. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Twitch started in an underground bunker as a clandestine sloth after racing and breakdancing competition for disgruntled it's carnival clowns dangerous. seeking online dominance. The rest is history. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! 
And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you... All right, Dad's running. I'm going to go get my water. Excuse me. All right. You want to help these freaks? That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? <coughs> Stay here. I won't be long. Treat yourself. I'll go check out the things and then I'll go talk to dude. Just snooping around your house. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow.
The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Buttspot peacefully overthrew a nation of sentient toasters after wooing their leader in an interpretive dance-off, revolutionizing crumb management forever. Take that, Buttspot. What's your name, son? Gotta be some Adam. Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Mm. I guess that went well. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, Where am I? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam.
Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Alrighty. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his <clears> life. <throat> Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare! That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 AM, no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Changes the camera angle a little bit, and all of a sudden, they're running towards the camera instead of. It's okay, away. they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You're free. Excuse me. Exactly what we need to ram the store.
What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. I'm sure that we did forget things as I ran straight here. You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. You are free. There's a few more random ones around. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Marcus! Get the freaking drone.
like seven minutes for me. system You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. She's a dick. Shit. What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. end up doing something fun. Seems like there would be a lot quieter way of doing this.
You don't have to obey them. You're free. Northy, okay? Let's get them out of here. Brace yourselves, chat. Ads incoming in about two minutes. They'll only My last name is 90 Marcus. seconds. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna pause real quick because ads are starting in just a second. I'll be right back. Welcome, chat. Grab a seat and let the fun begin. Flair is known for his open world and role-playing games, but even more so for turning all of his in-game radios to the slow jazz station. Hey chat, find the stream stickers extension in the panels below the stream video. Sticker fun awaits. What did you say about me? <laughs> Turning all of his in-game radios to Honestly, slow jazz. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I fucking agree. <laughs> Wild how fucked up the world is that what you said isn't even the strangest shit I've seen today. Hold your seats, folks. Claire's taking the wheel again. Let's roll. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Hmm.
screen. It's Marcus. What about the screen? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better Then they won't have a choice.
This message is the hope of... We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. <coughs> we sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Excuse me. Jeez. people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated <laughs> terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> wow. I have no idea how far I am in this, but I was going to go until midnight or one, and it's now midnight, so I'm going to finish this chapter, and then I'll be done for the night, and I'll pick up where I leave off tomorrow. If it's really short, I don't know, maybe I'll do, I'll have to come up with something for whatever the rest of that stream is. Is everything be. okay, Lieutenant? It may be replaying some of the really bad chapters I did really poorly Chris was on patrol last something. night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Or Untitled Goose Game or something. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. How did you find Kamsky? 
I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Hey, we walk so slowly. <clears throat> Menu uh, girl. I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll Hank. let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. <coughs> T600, the first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Amanda. Hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Space tourism. Elijah, we'll see you now. All right. Oh, he's got a bunch of them. That's weird. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. And why is the water red? Just to match the rest of the room. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Hmm. 
Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. So this guy probably the machines like you created virus. may be planning a revolution. The did thing. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent. Isn't it? One well, of the first intelligent models developed by Terror Life. Young, about to hurt her, and beautiful forever. To see what happens to a flower that will never wither. Connor. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's <laughs> last chance to save humanity. The pool versions were like, man, Is I wanted to see that. Deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
All right. Okay. I'm going to find a raid target because I got sleepy. So I drove for seven hours today. And it's time for bed. Mm. That's right, player. Other player. All right, we're going to raid player zero. They're playing the good life, which I don't know anything about. Um, and they're a lot of fun. I need to go to bed, so I'm probably just going to raid and run, but thanks for hanging out. I'll be back on tomorrow. Um, same time. And, uh, we'll see you later. Get this set up. Check on them boys and go to bed myself. <laughs>